Yeah. Hey, demigods, Mark here, and we are working on the Blurry Vision quest line. We're trying to get the wing piece, and we're at the observatory. Let me go ahead and pull up the map here so we can make sure we're all on the same page. There we go. And this puzzle, this puzzle is a lot of fun to work on. I'm really pleased so far with the environmental puzzles in this game. Anyway, let's get started. First, I highly recommend taking out all the enemies in that area. We're going to come back with one of the one of the orbs. And uh, it's just easier if you take care of them first. Now, in your game, I already smashed this wall and cracked it open, but pr probably in your game, this wall is here fully intact. Grab one of the rocks with left bumper Y, and we're going to toss it. Squeeze that right trigger, and we're going to toss it and crash that wall open. Head over to this block. We're going to push it in. And then go ahead and grab the orb with left bumper Y. You, you don't have to hold on to those buttons, by the way. Now, you can hold the X button and run, but just keep an eye on your stamina. It does run out, especially if you're running into some bad guys. Won't be a lot of fun without any stamina. So there's our placement map. We're gonna follow this. Let's go ahead and put our first orb right over here behind this one. Now, uh, if you stand right in the hole, obviously the ball's not gonna make it, but if you stand right in front of it and just hit the Y button, it'll drop right in place. And you can see it marked on the map up there. Good, now we're gonna head to the next area. Let's go up the stairs and we're gonna turn to the right and we're gonna be in that little area up there. Now let's go ahead and take a look around. You can see we got some fires and there is, uh, we need to stand on this plate right here. And once you stand on it, you'll notice there's a flame that's out over there. If you're not standing on it, it's actually locked. But so you stand on it and what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot an arrow right through that flame so we can light that fire back there. Once you do that, the gate opens up and we're gonna go and grab our second orb. So left bumper Y. And again, you can hold the X button to run. So let's go ahead and run down there. And let's take a, m a look at our map here. Yeah, let's go ahead and place it here. Second from the bottom, on the very left. It's marked on the map, good. Okay, let's go back up the stairs. This time we're gonna turn left. And you'll notice there's a big lever right here. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that lever and it's gonna open a gate straight ahead. Now what you need to do is it's gonna put up this force field. So you can't go through that doorway, but dash over or around. For me, what worked for me is to go around it and then come into this room. We're gonna take this orb, go ahead and drop it right into that holder there. That'll open up the gates. We're gonna grab the second orb. Good, there you go. Okay, so go ahead and take it. And we're gonna run. Let's see, go straight ahead here. And what I wanna do is, uh, let's go ahead and throw it down there so we don't have to come all the way back. And then we're gonna come in here. Now, uh, to note, there is a pedestal right by the door. If you get stuck in there, hit the button and it'll open up the door for you. Um, I didn't have any problems with that. The first time I did this, I actually had a problem where it closed and shut me in there. And I, I'm not sure if it was a bug, but it didn't happen the second or the third time. So if you have a problem with being stuck in there, again, there's a pedestal, hit the button. Okay, let's grab our orbs. Let's go ahead and drop them right in the placement marker. You'll see the constellation fill up with the liar. And we're good to go. Don't forget to like and subscribe, folks. It does help me out quite a bit. Thanks for checking out my video.